Hey, what's up, guys? Christian over at Enfig. I uh, just replaced the radio on a Volkswagen GTI. Uh, 2015, this is the radio that everyone said couldn't be done, um, but it's not, the install, it's not for unexperienced people, but it's not too really that bad. Um, you just gotta cut some things behind the, the display over here and anything. But anyway, um, we're gonna go through some of the features for you. Not of the radio, because the radio, the radio, the Alpine radio, it's a great radio. Anyone who, if you have an iPhone and you love, you know, iPhone stuff, it's, it's fantastic. Everyone loves it. But that's not what we're here for. We're here to show you the kit. The kit is this and comes all the way up top. It has the buttons to keep your your uh, menu stuff, but it, you reuse the vents um, and, the, and the airbag and then, you know, the side to side gets reused. All right, guys. So the first thing we're going to show you is when you hit um, menu, it's going to put you into the menu. All right. And it's all the vehicle settings. Um, someone told me a lot of guys are asking about the mode button. Um, vehicle settings. It still holds it. So you go normal, sport, individual. So you know when you go sport, you hit OK. And then when you go to the information, it'll tell you sport and sport. So we're gonna go back. This isn't touchscreen, so it's gonna take you, it's gonna take you a little bit to get used to it. Um, so under vehicle settings, let's do because that's important. ECS system activated, ACR off, right back. Um, down, you got tires, okay. Speed warning, warning at, set tire pressure. Uh, down, okay. Proactive passenger possession. I have no idea what that means, but if you own the car, you probably do already. What does that mean? That's the one thing I have no idea what it means. <laughs> Good job, Pat. Thanks. <laughs> Light. You guys all know what this all stuff means, because um, you play with the menu. Um, down mirrors and wipers. This gets in the way because this is the, uh, for the backup cameras. You can always move it up if you need to read on this radio. I think it disappears. All right, so opening and closing. You guys all know what this means, so you're not going to have to hit the thing. I just don't know. Um, and then the adapter settings. Screen size position, that's just like a regular TV left and right. Um, down picture settings, brightness, contrast, saturation. That's just for this part. All right, and then uh, preferences. That's a big one, right? Driver position left, camera connected, whether or not you have it. Um, for this car, we we have a part that supposedly you can keep the backup camera. We haven't tested on this particular vehicle, but I'm pretty sure it'll work. Um, we also have the aftermarket replacement, which will 100% work, and it looks exactly like the OEM one. Um, brake source always on. Color, you can change the color, I think. Yeah, so you could do any, you know, default is, I don't even know what it is, but you can change a couple colors here. Um, the climate, all right, so you know when you, so I'm gonna hit okay here. You can change this anywhere from five seconds, well, let me go, four seconds to whatever you want it to. I forget how high it goes. I don't know why anyone would want it more than 10 to five seconds, but. So that means is that when you set up your climate control, everything will show here for five seconds and go back. Uh, never depend solely on camera. That's the Alpine. Some radios don't show that. Um, this kit, particular kit, only works with shallow radios. Alpine's the only one we've done. Um, I think that's it right for that one. Back. Restore factory settings. Picture settings. And then you got different languages. All right, so you got a bunch of different languages for over your app, and that's pretty much it. You keep head back, back, and that's it. Um, that's just a quick wrap up of the menu. Um, like I said, this we we're doing installs right now. By the time you watch this, it'll probably be ready to go. Um, it's just it's we don't sell stuff that's hard to do, but if you want it, give us a call. We can put you on a list for when they're available. Um, there's also a different kit that's coming out that comes out. I don't know how far it comes out. But that way you can do a regular deep size radio. Um, but I have a feeling this one's going to be more popular because it's a more flush look. But we'll see. But anyway, my name is Christian. This is nfitcarstereo.com. We sell and install. We also ship worldwide. Um, we got another video that I'm going to put up. It's the first time I took out the radio. And uh, to install this, you have to cut a couple things behind here. So it shows that. Um, when it came to dropping the glove box, it got a little hairy. 
um, you know, you never worked on a car before, it just didn't look too clean, so I'm not gonna post that up. Oh, another thing, if you look down here, we replaced the factory, that weird adapter that you guys all complain about that comes out sideways and is all awkward. We replaced it with a USB and an auxiliary. Uh, this auxiliary also does video, so on this car, you'll be able to plug in like a, whatever you got, um, in there and it'll show the video on your aftermarket radio. So all this is an extension for USB and you know, composite video and audio, um, but that's it, all right? Anyway, my name's Christian. Can you see that? Is that light bright enough? Yeah, there you go. All right, anyway, my name's Christian, uh, NFIT Car Stare. If you guys have any questions, feel free to give us a call. Um, we ship worldwide. We also do dealer accounts if you're a shop. Um, we do do wholesale accounts, and this kit is also available for right-hand drive cars for you guys that aren't in the U.S. So, and for car stereo, thank you for watching. Hey, one more thing. Pat was just telling me. Watch this. <laughs> Stays on until you pull out the key, just like the factory. Old radios used to do. According to Pat, this the factory radio and this uh, didn't do it. I didn't check it. But anyway, I forgot to add that little tidbit. And for car stereo, thanks for watching.